This is Stephen Janis reporting for the Real News Network in Baltimore City, Maryland. Big changes in the police department. A new commissioner, old commissioner out. But what will it mean for Baltimore in its fight against crime? Historic levels of violence and a police department battered by scandal appear to prompt changes at the top as Mayor Catherine Pugh today removed Kevin Davis as chief, replacing with Deputy Commissioner Daryl D'Souza. Uh, this morning I announced that we relieved uh, Commissioner Davis of his position as commissioner for the Baltimore City Police Department and I've named uh, Deputy Commissioner D'Souza as commissioner for the Baltimore City Police Department. The move came after the city notched yet another record year of homicides amid a rash of violent street robberies and carjackings that only cemented the city's reputation as a community beset by crime. At a City Hall press conference Friday announcing the change, Pew expressed frustration with recent efforts to tackle the city's penchant for violence. Um, but I'm impatient. We need violence reduction. We need the numbers to go down faster than they are. D'Souza has served in a variety of capacities within the department, including the Northeast District Commander and Deputy Police Commissioner during his roughly 30-year career. He promised immediate change in the crime-fighting strategy, announcing a newly implemented plan to flood hotspots with extra officers. Um, the priority as of this moment right now is really simple. It's this a really simple priority, and that's violent reduction. Second priority is violent reduction, and third priority is violent reduction at accelerated pace. Um, that's the bottom line. Uh, secondly, um, my plan is to immediately put more uniformed police officers on the streets. Today, uh, we have an initiative that started about 30 minutes ago and is specifically designed to reduce violence. It started at 9 o'clock this morning and is spread out throughout the entire city. And the first set of officers that are coming on the streets, they came on at 9 a.m. There's another wave that comes on at 10 a.m. There's another wave that comes on at 11 a.m. And this wave is going to continue all the way to the midnight hour. But concerns were raised about the new approach, given the department's penchant for aggressive tactics in the past that have led to complaints of police brutality. Can you give us some details on what that is? Is that something with uniform officers, or are you going back to the PSEC kind of model? No, uniform officers on the streets. Uh, there is a surplus of officers. They start at 9 a.m. It's going to go throughout midnight. They're all in uniform, and they've been placed in strategic locations. They've been placed in strategic corridors of the city. Uh, we took a look at the top four districts in the city that led to violence last year. They're deployed there. There's going to be officers on foot uh, addressing problematic businesses. And quite frankly, we know what those businesses are. Looming over the change were lingering questions about the stalled investigation into the shooting death of Detective Sean Souter. Souter was shot in the head in a West Baltimore alley in November 2017. Initially, police said he was the victim of a lone gunman, described as a black male wearing a jacket with a white stripe. But later, it was revealed Souter was set to testify in front of a federal grand jury as part of a widening investigation into the Gun Trace Task Force, a rogue unit accused of robbing residents, dealing drugs, and stealing overtime. Asked if the case had any effect on her decision, Pew was non-committal. What information was withheld from you when it comes to the Souter investigation by the previous commissioner? What information? Yes, were there pieces of information, parts of the investigation, evidence that was withheld from you by the previous commissioner as it relates to the Souter investigation? Um, what was shared with me were tapes and um, that were turned over to the FBI. And, um, you know, again, I don't have all the information. I've not had a long or lengthy discussion around this investigation. I did, when I saw the tapes, ask for the FBI investigation. And so uh, what I'm asking the commissioner to do is to take a close look at all of the evidence that is at hand and let's make a determination as to where we go from there. What was it about the tapes that made you want to bring the FBI in and what they saw? Well, I couldn't see a whole lot on the tapes. They were pretty grainy. Oh. For now, Pew says her focus is on fighting crime. But the question remains, is the department already under a federal consent decree and accused of widespread corruption up to the task, regardless of who is at the top? This is Stephen Janis reporting for The Real News Network in Baltimore City, Maryland.